When it comes to the construction of fireworks, very little has changed throughout the years. A flame creates a chemical reaction, resulting in a shower of sparks. The simplest firework has its roots in 7th century China as a way to ward off evil spirits. A piece of bamboo was filled with gunpowder and thrown into a fire, creating an explosion. This began a tradition of creating ingenious celebratory pyrotechnics. During the Italian Renaissance, colors were introduced. Soon, they were a global favorite and a way to mark holidays and celebrations. Fireworks that you might buy as a consumer have a slow-burning fuse known as Visco that has a gunpowder core with three layers of protective coating. The coating keeps the fuse waterproof and produces a slow, brightly sparking path of travel. The fuse of a professional-grade firework? That's just gunpowder and string, which burns at 100 feet a second, so the firework will take off the instant that it's ignited. These fireworks launch from a PVC tube, and when the quick-burning fuse hits the base of the firework, it meets its first load of gunpowder and explodes. The force ejects the shell from the mortar, shooting straight up into the night sky. It doesn't explode instantly thanks to hitting a short length of timer fuse, which burns into the center of the shell on its journey. Then, when the shell has reached its trajectory height, the flame will hit the center and ignite a brake charge. As the shell explodes, it sends small round loads of chemical compounds called stars shooting in all directions. It's the stars that create the bursts of color. Red can be made from lithium, yellow is sodium, blue is copper, gold charcoal, and the list goes on. Even now, hundreds of years later, fireworks still have the ability to amaze us.